G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here with another episode in our playthrough of Dungeons of Daggeroth. Um, yes, yeah, so when we last left off, we had a fairly short episode where we completed as much of level 2 as I believe we need to, to be able to go and successfully move down to level 3. Uh, yes, level 3 is going to be just as hard at the start as what level 2 was, um, it's going to be a matter of go down there, drop absolutely everything I can as quickly as I can. Um, I believe, if I remember rightly when I do this last time, that I'm going to be in a corridor that's going to sort of end here with, I think, a magic door. Um, I'm in a little cul-de-sac if I use my scroll. Um, and I very much have to be careful um, to drop things, but keep an eye out for or in an ear out for any of the scorpions because they don't pick stuff up. They just attack. And so I need to be ready to be able to attack as soon as one of those uh, appears in front of me. So let's do it. Let's head down to level three. That's the scorpion. I think that's enough for the moment. There's the scorpion behind the knight. I notice this knight has a shield, which the other ones didn't have. This guy's going to be just as hard. I'm in trouble here. Then I'm dead. Just didn't manage... Another one does not return just didn't manage to get enough stuff dropped quickly enough that I could take out that night. Um, I could do the hit and run thing to try and get around that. But, um, you know, in general, I'm just better off getting as much stuff dropped as possible. Okay, this time. Don't think I've got any more dead torches. Any more pine torches? Torches one, two. You always got to be careful because you can always just pull your last torch, the one that you're using, and then you're blind. Actually, no. I'm going to keep my rings in my backpack because the last thing I want to do is get caught without them if I hear the wizard. So, as you can see, I'm down here again. 
uh, and as I said, I'm in this little cul-de-sac here, so I'm sort of safe-ish. I usually find that the wizard tends to be up this area somewhere. But that's not always the case. Okay, another scorpion coming. Is anything dropped that we couldn't reveal yet? Oh, flask, two torches, a few more torches. Scorpions are fast. Thought there was multiple of them. So I've got my two good flasks on me. I can use the solar torch. I'm going to get ready to attack this knight. Man, that took some hits. slower and there's my solar torch running I'm just going to this is probably insane to do it see how much clearer everything is First, the blob. Oh, there's the wizard. without getting attacked. Could. <sighs> Did not expect to see the wizard this early in this level. Damn it. That was another good attempt. Because really, you want to be able to you want to have cleared out most of this level before you have to face the wizard. 
um, because it's situations like that that you don't want where you're fleeing from the wizard because the only way to fight the wizard he won't stop and pick stuff up either so the only way to fight the wizard is hit and run but you've as you noticed he moves very quickly so you have to hit him with the ring run 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 turn around often if he's if you're only in a fairly short sort of space you want to turn around and pull out a scroll uh, um, a potion and drink that a flask to drop your heart rate down and then get the ring out again and get ready to hit him once again um so yeah you've got to be really careful the thing a couple of tips there that you shouldn't do one don't put both rings one ring in each hand because you get three shots per ring um but if you're tempted to do that there's a few problems with that one even if you're at the end of the level and there's nothing else around to worry about as soon as you kill that wizard it teleports you to the fourth level with nothing but what you're carrying in your two hands and your active torch you lose everything out of your backpack you lose everything right so if you've got a ring in each hand you're screwed when you get to the next level because if both those rings are dead or even if they're not the ring's not going to be powerful enough to kill a wraith or a galdrog so you need the sword in your hand as well as a ring so that you can at least bash at stuff uh, and do hit and run on level four as well so let's let's take one more try at this Okay, maybe not, maybe uh, maybe one more try after this, because, yeah, that was, that was a little unfortunate that those creatures were so close as soon as I dropped down the level. Um, we really wanted to have a little bit more time to prepare... See what I mean about about the scorpions hitting so quickly? They don't they don't pick stuff up. They just attack. And that's why if I had have used the the ladder to go down between levels and go back up, it's always a scorpion at least in the first a uh, couple of levels it's always a scorpion that comes after you because a on level one without a lunar torch you can't see the scorpion and b um they don't pick up what you drop so you have to time it perfectly right to attack them as soon as they appear because otherwise you're going to get hit I am not having much luck at the moment. That's right, I can't abort this this death sequence in any way. I should look at the code on that and see if I can fix that so you can abort the death sequence. Now I know this game has looked I mean, challenging, but not that hard so far. Despite the fact that it's all key commands and you've got to type very, very well. But uh, believe me, it is very hard.
mine torches. See how little damage. Oops. See how little damage that um, giant did to me? Oh, damn it, the wizard this early? This is not going to go well, folks. Uh. Oh, did I just... Oh, no. Okay, so. Looks like the wizard went away, which is good. Although it could just appear in front of me any second and I will be in deep, deep trouble. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I don't care about any of the rest of that. I don't care whether it's... Listen to that scorpion coming. Can't hear the wizard. That's good. What sort of flask is that? Fuse flask, that's even better. Um, yeah, I don't care about any of the rest of that except, and I shouldn't need to worry about it, but I'm gonna store one more solar torch in my backpack. Is there any more? Nope. So yeah, that's another another night coming, another scorpion. So one thing that's noticeable at times, particularly after the stone giant makes his sound, the sound sort of pauses the game, and that's actually authentic with the original game as well. And so you would often have this situation where suddenly it would go, it would attack really, really quickly because there'd been several attacks queued up that couldn't happen because the sound was sort of interrupting everything else. Man, that scorpion's hauling ass. Thankfully, it was only one. There's another scroll there. It should just be another vision scroll. Not that I care about scrolls anymore. any more fuse flask. Get right th. How did 
that just did torch instead of flask. Um, flask. Let's see. Uh, no. doing I've got my two hail and my fuse flask another solar torch and my two rings in my backpack there's shields and swords and torches unrevealed on the ground none of the solar torches they're not worth any effort to pick up and reveal at this point so we're gonna leave them Creatures. Where did they drop? Nothing of importance. I think I'm pretty close to being able to take on the wizard soon. I should, uh, yeah, that's why I should have the attack command primed and ready to go, because if a scorpion came along and I wasn't ready and I fumble-fingered it, I would be dead. Oh, good, we got the blob first. I'm just going to sit, uh, yeah, I was going to sit and wait and see what, which one appeared before the, after the blob, I mean... One or two stone giants. He's moving away. Wow. He may have been blocked. What happened is he may have, if I... Oh. So, the stone giant may have, for example, been coming along here just as the scorpions were coming down. And so he had to turn around and head back this way. Um, so that may be why we don't, we didn't see him, or he didn't come back. So I think we're doing very well here. We have managed to survive this level better than we have the other few attempts and I think if the wizard were to come now we would actually do quite well so I think what I'm going to do is even though it's fairly short I'm going to stop this episode here um, so let's just save and in the next episode we might actually go hunting the wizard on the third level and see if we can't kill him and get down to the nightmare that is the fourth level. So if you enjoyed this game, please give me a like and subscribe. I'll leave any comments you have um, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye.